Marauder is an artist development and music marketing firm. We work with a lot of different artists from all over the world and help them to create traction within North America. A music marketing firm is an outside team that essentially acts on your behalf to be able to help uh, the client reach a broader audience. So that can work in ways of PR or advertising or digital reach or a combination of all of these different things. There was a large group of people that I was friends with, that I wanted to work with, and we couldn't necessarily find the right way to do it. So I figured if we built the company from scratch specifically to work with these people that kind of fell between the cracks um, of the system that already existed, that there would be a potential for us to grow with them. And uh, so far we've been right. I'd like to be able to be of more service to the people that we're already working with. We've, already, we've always approached the company as how do we solve problems for other people. So the more problems we're able to address as outside help, I think the more valuable we're going to be to other people being able to effectively do business. Marketing is as important as the product. If you have an amazing product and you're not actually telling anyone about it, then it just exists in a vacuum. You need to be able to communicate the effectiveness of it, the value of it, and, uh, and the purpose. So, um, you know, if you look at yourself as just having a, um, a uh, specific item for sale, that item either does exist in a multitude of different forms, you're selling sneakers, plenty of sneakers to buy, or it doesn't exist, uh, you're selling uh, foot cushions, right? And you need to explain why you need this foot cushion as opposed to wearing a sneaker. So either which way, there's, uh, it, it, there's uh, consumer education that needs to happen. I think the easiest thing for somebody to do, especially in today's connected world, is to be able to uh, establish their brand early, their brand identity early, and be able to build that dialogue up uh, with even within their own circle, uh, whether it's friends or whether it's an active beta, but uh, being able to launch that on a concerted level that says, this is, this is where I want to grow and this is what I want to do, that's a very easy place for somebody to start on their own. It is the crux of my business. I don't think that people would work with us if they didn't have some type of touch point. And that touch point doesn't need to be immediate or even um, uh, the first level connection. It can just be somebody else talking that says, oh, I, I know them, they're, they're good people. But uh, the personal relationship is probably the most important aspect. I feel that it's primarily driven through personal relationships and through our own reputation and how we carry ourselves. Uh, ultimately, there are many different um, uh, companies that can do portions of what we do. We try to be more inclusive, and that's a solution that many people are looking for. And for people that are only looking for one service over another, I, I feel that it, it is going to primarily come down to how well you just you vibe with them. I mean, we're talking on a daily basis. Uh, we're part of the team. We are as important as the in-house team in many of these. Uh, growing conversation, so it's important that everybody feels comfortable. Well, it's certainly digital, but to what degree, who knows? And uh, you know, the um, everything's about touch points, right? So it's about it's about making impressions and connections and repeated connections and repeated impressions. So uh, you can't discount the human interaction or the real world interaction entirely. But as people's lives move more and more into online or mobile platforms, it's important that um, the communication follows. The biggest issue facing entrepreneurs is the lack of universal health care. There is no safety net from an American perspective of what you're going to do if a business fails um, in regards to health care. 
and you can talk about funding and you can talk about uh, office space or leases or all these other types of things but ultimately I think that if um, the American marketplace is, is truly going to become competitive it's going to allow that safety net for people to be able to make uh, riskier professional choices and not feel that they or their spouse is tied to a profession simply so they can uh, avoid going bankrupt due to one unexpected illness. I think they need to listen to their teams and I think that they need to be open to the fact that their initial idea might not be correct because sometimes you just need the spark of an idea to be able to create an entire new direction for your company and purpose for it as well. Things change, things evolve, and companies need to as well. I think you should be prepared to dedicate every minute you have to everything you're doing. But you should also figure out a way to balance that with other things that are your passion so you don't become so blind that your focus is solely on the business. Uh, because that um, recuperation time it often leads to even better ideas.